What is up, Nerd Nation? It's your boy Hunter here from, from Film Nerd TV, and tonight we have another Schmodown reaction video for you guys. Tonight is the triple threat match <clears throat> as Ethan Irwin takes on William the Beast Bibiani, takes on the outlaw John Roca. The winner will take on Dangerous Dan Merle for a shot at the movie trivia Schmodown Championship. Now, who do I got? I got to pull for the beast. Um, impressive as hell showing at the free-for-all. Dude was a former champion. All three of these men were former champions. I feel like Bibbs has enough... I think Bibbs would go the extra mile to secure that win. It's not going to be an easy victory. I'm pulling for the beast. Who do you guys got? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get to the triple threat match right now. Such a fun tournament for the next 15 weeks, guys. You get the ultimate showdown. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin the 2015 Ultimate Showdown Championship. later baby and here's for a uh, whole bunch more April 13th. The Odd Couple, Jeff Snyder and Mark Andrico heading to such Chicago. A good team. Even though they're odd, they are capable of working together. You're a force to be reckoned with, and you can take it all the way. Going up against Ben Bateman and Riley, who's the boss for a shot to play for the team championship? 2019, we're getting a belt. That's the one goal I want. I can't wait to beat Bateman again. Uh, there's no way I'm going to get nervous on that stage. I was born to compete. I was born to perform. Can anyone beat you? And Mr. Alex Damon, Star Wars, explained himself, puts his title on the line, and it goes down during Star Wars Celebration. This is just what I do all day, every day. It's hard to stump me. Riley's a legend, okay? He's on Mount Rushmore, and I'm lucky enough to play with somebody with class, a true champion who's taught me a lot about this game. And I'm going to give him a show in Chicago. You can bet on that. Buy your tickets right now. Get your tickets now at <laughs> schmodownlive.com. Just make sure you're there in person. You do not want to miss it. I know a few members over at Multiplex are going down there right now. They're currently there. 
Hey, oh, sorry. Hi. Hey, um, hi, the kid. Hey, hey, hey Mr. Bibiani. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Bibiani. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Beast. Better. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. What's up, buddy? I wanted Mr. to Beast. say congrats again uh, on the free for all performance, and really just every match, man. Oh, you're, you're the best. You're, you're, you're too kind. You're too kind. And I want to congratulate you on your free for all performance. Oh, you blew everybody away. Oh, wow. I think you 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 made such an impression. Oh, well, that on, on means, the world at large. That means so much coming from you, man. Really, I've watched you so many times, and oh, well, all the time I'm watching you, man. Thanks for making that weird. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like a creepy, like, you know, stalker way. I meant it in, like, a normal, like, the way people watch each other. You know, you know like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you do. Cool. Yeah, no, just want to say that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I just gotta ask what is this? You studying up this? Is that what's going on here? Uh, no, yeah, uh, a few cards. Thing. It's a uh, uh, it's uh, entrances. Ah, entrances. Yes, I do yes. the I do the entrances. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes, I got yes. a got a big plan for these. Okay, so gonna, all right, okay. It's gonna be quite the. Well, if you need me at all for you know big plan, let me know. Yeah, noted. All right, all right. This is so awkward. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, this was good. This was good. This was fun. Okay, thank you. The kid. The kid. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but... Hey, it was entertaining as hell, I'll tell you that. Here we go! Ethan Irwin, the former movie trivia showdown champion, and the outlaw John Roca, the former two-time champ. What a matchup today. Hey, Christian, you know how to get me to a studio, and that's when you say three-way. Now, we got a bunch of dudes in here that are going to get very sweaty in the form of movie trivia, so it's a clean, family-friendly match. And you're right, the yeah. theatrics, the entrances, the know-how, the combined record of all these gentlemen, three of the current titans of the game. If you make a Mount Rushmore of the movie trivia showdown, you just need one more face because these could be the other three. It's absolutely right. And they've all faced one another one way or they face each other one way or another. Like if you look at Ethan Irwin and Bibiani, they faced each other in teams and on the free for all last year. But William Bibiani was the champion. John Roca took the championship from him. And then Ethan Irwin took the championship from him. And then Dan Merle took the championship from him in New York. That's who stands who that's who has a champion championship right now. And that's who they will play. Any one of these guys, there's a story if they wind up winning to play Dan Merle. It's going to yep. be very interesting to watch today. Yeah, and the three-way matchup, the triple threat, as you call it, is very exciting because it's a different type of strategy that's going to be involved. You better take a drink of water because you're going to be doing three intros here today, and, that's what I'm doing and it's going to get hot, and heavy, competitive, maybe a little controversial. We have no idea what's in store. All we know is that there's going to be a lot of excitement. Please don't say that. Okay, now we are going to go to the pre-interviews to hear from all three oh, of our competitors. Oh, this is going to be good. Here we go. Let's go. William the Beast, Bibiani, John the Outlaw Roca. I am throwing Ethan Irwin into that number one contenders match. That's right, it's going to be a three-way match. You have to respect what's about to happen. Yourself, former movie trivia showdown champion, I'm Ethan William the Beast Bibiani, ran for the free for all. Yep. Former movie trivia showdown champion, the outlaw John Roca, movie trivia showdown champion. Yep. There is nothing but respect for the other two men that will be at this table. Well, I'm back at it again. The outlaw is here. Another triple threat match against two of the Goliaths of the showdown. So I don't know about those other guys, but my 2019 has been great. I am on a, a, a winning streak uh, in singles. Uh, I've only had one really awesome loss against the Shire Wolves. Like, it came really, really close. And, you know, there was that um, free-for-all uh, in which I think uh, I kind of proved that I have nothing left to prove anymore. On one side, William Bibiani. On the other, Ethan Irwin. William on, coming off of that free-for-all run. An incredible run all the way to the end. Couldn't get it done. Ethan Irwin wins that title. Couldn't defend it. It took Merle having to play a perfect game, okay? It wasn't a miss a question. It was a perfect game to beat B. 
big time. Yep. What's on his mind is going back to that big dance, and that big dance has Dan Merle at the helm. Bibbs, I already took care of you once. Took that belt right off you. Ethan, I owe you for that loss. I got revenge in my eyes. I got a drive in my heart. I won the championship. Roca took it from me. Ethan took it from Roca. And now we all get to play each other. And let me tell you something. I'll bet that really scares the hell out of Ethan and Roca. But not me. I want a contenders match at Free For All 3. You know what? I can get right back into a contenders match tomorrow if I That's want. That's true. I'm feeling no pain. I got no problems whatsoever. I just want to take down Dan. Because you know what? Out of all those guys, I'm the only person who has never lost a championship match to Dan Merle. I held that belt for just a little over a month, and I tell you what, it was a great feeling, and to lose it sucked. And so I am coming back for that belt today. And let me tell you something, I have had some great opponents, uh, but I have never in my life had a three-way like this. And I am a movie producer, I've been around the world, I've seen the London Bridge, I have seen the Eiffel Tower, I have seen the Golden Gate, I've been to a Hawaiian spit roast. But I have never been sandwiched like this, and I am stoked. This is a different three-way. You're talking about the nose three-ways. This is something completely new. <laughs> Everyone's been asking me if this is the last <laughs> run for me in singles. Oh, Jay, it's like Jordan's treasure, man. I don't know. I just focus on the belt. But I can feel. I can feel that sunset calling me. I can feel that my time might be up in the showdown. But you never know with the outlaw. Never know. Let's just have a really good match out there. Let's kick each other's butts all the way across the stage, and then let me fight Dan because uh, I think uh, everyone wants to see that for realsies this time, don't you? So John Roca, William Bibiani, you guys are great competitors, but you're about to be two great losers at the end of the day. And there's only two. You know what? You did this better last time. You do. Nothing and deal with it, damn it! That was a it's great heated. They're ready. They're, they're, there's a lot of respect between the three mm -hmm. of them. We know that it, John really wants to take this from Ethan because it still sticks. It really sticks to, to, to the fact that he lost to Ethan. He didn't get. He didn't like his performance in that one. I spoke to him after the spectacular. He's best at Bibiani, so I know Bibiani wants to take out Roca. It's there's so much here, and yep. because Ethan is the is the favorite going into this thing, he just last year goes winds up going seven seven and one last year, takes the championship, rookie of the year, player of the year, uh, sorry, singles player of the year. There's just so many accomplishments already in his young career. Yeah, the X factor here could be Jay Washington as his manager right. because he's got somebody in his corner to keep him calm, as if Ethan needed somebody to keep him more calm. Ethan's pulse, I guarantee you, he's like Van Dam in Time Cop when he'd have to wake him up to make sure that he's ready for the mission, whereas Bibiani and Roca, like Time Cop, if they fart, they're going to get ahead of the pod. Well, we're going to find out. There's, there's so much going on. I mean, look, the, the, we're in May here, and John Roca is going to Houston to play with Dan Merle against Double Toasted in Houston at the Booker T Arena. Tickets still available. And But to also, the, the, think about that. If John Roca, it's got to be in his mind. If he, if he pulls it off today, he's got to go up against his teammate. If William Bibiani plays he gets to, against Merle, he gets to go up against the guy that took him out of the free for off to being number one all the way to the end. If Ethan plays against Merle, we get that rubber match. So there's so much on the table right now. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go, Christian. Why don't you do the thing? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie, movie trivia. trivia. Good crowd here today. Yep. Throaty. Yep. Introducing first. Representing, critically acclaimed, with a record of six wins, five defeats, and three knockouts, he is the number three ranked contender and the free-for-all MVP, William the Beast Bibi. France. Thank you, Rod Roddy. 
<sighs> a legend. Oh, that was coach. great. And his opponent. Very simple. I love it. Representing the five horsemen with a record of 12 wins, seven defeats, and three knockouts. He is the former movie trivia showdown team champion and the former two-time movie trivia showdown champion of the world, the number one two contender, John the Outlaw. Got some people booing, but you know Outlaw Nation is John, at oh, full yeah. mast here for this match today. Yeah, you're not gonna oh, that. John's oh. standing oh. too. John Let's sta dance, people. Let's dance. Oh, John did this against Bibiani when he won the title, so now he's standing. No. Next up, he's gonna blindfold Ethan. Hello, <laughs> William. <laughs> and their opponent. I don't know what you're into, William, but that ain't me. It's a three-way, John. <laughs> yeah, it's a three-way, John. Representing the time machine. With a record of seven wins, two defeats, and three knockouts. Led to the ring by his manager, the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington. The number one ranked contender, Ethan Big Time Owen! They love him here, and Jay Washington, very cordial. Ethan will be sitting. Ethan wants to sit. No, he's a rebel. This is... This is he's no, a rebel. Ethan wants to sit. Maybe he's a, a rebel, producer. He's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Our competitors, uh, our competitors have taken the table. And, Mark, it is time to read the rules. Here we go. In round number one, whether a competitor is sitting or standing, it works the same way. You are going to hear eight different questions from eight different corners of the movie Trivia Showdown Galaxy. Each question so is worth one sure. point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing available in round number one. You're going to hear a question asked to the field. Please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard we have so kindly provided in front of you. Once we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show your whiteboard to the cameras at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. It is a triple threat match, but each competitor will have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the three-round match. You also each have one challenge. God willing, it does not get used. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that, I will start with Ethan Irwin. Are you ready? Always be closing. Bibiani. <laughs> Team Coffee Table. And Boca. <laughs> Always ready. Let's do this. Then let's get ready to Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Right? Guys, first question. First question. We'll make sure to call William William and not the Beast in this match. Thank so, you. Here we go. First question in the realm of action adventure. John Travolta and Jonathan Rhys Myers played mismatched spies in which 2010 action thriller? Ooh. I want to. Yeah. And we get five, to, four. We get to have a fond reminiscence three, after you give the answer to this. I don't know. One pens down. Ethan. From Paris with Love. Correct. We'll be on From it. Paris with Love. Uh, yes, and Roca. Two pairs with love? Oh, no. Give it to you. Give, give it to you. Uh, no. It's the reply. Uh, <laughs> the sequel, however. Actually, that would be an awesome name if that movie had yeah. been successful. Yeah. One all of right. the all-time dumb, fun movies to watch all from right, Pairs with question. Love. Is next it? question comes from the world of directors. Keep in mind, I know we're going to the next question. You don't have to say Are it. Are you sure? Well, yeah. yeah. You knew this. <laughs> next question, next question, next, next question. question. Next question in the world of directors. Who directed the film The Grand Budapest Hotel? Nicest hotel you've ever stayed at. Well, there was one in five, four, three. It Wes Anderson? One, two, one. You, you down, down, Bibiani. Wes Anderson. Yes, Roca. Wes Anderson. Ethan. Wes Anderson. There you go. So two, two, and one. Broken down by one. Question three. Question three. 
Dramas. <gasps> Dramas. Which Tom Cruise movie depicts a young Irish couple struggling to become landowners after immigrating to the U.S.? I stayed at a uh, Four Seasons one time mm -hmm. in Boston. Holy. Nice. They have a Steinway and Sons piano in the lobby nope. that you can Four. play. But Three. Yeah, you can, you can play. Two. One. Roca. Far and away. Yes. Ethan. Far and away. And Bibiani. It concludes with a great homage to Cimarron. Far and away. Yes. <laughs> okay. Woo! What a match so far. You, you, you dropped a fact on the floor there, William. I'm Roll a film critic. Romantic things. <laughs> Rom coms is next category. And the question is, which 2002 romantic comedy stars Jennifer Lopez and Ralph Fiennes? Ray, Ray Fiennes. Ray. Okay. Why Ray. do we all know this so fast? <laughs> I said Ralph. I've been corrected. Four, three, glitter. Two, one. Pens down. And Ethan. Made in Manhattan. Yes. To be honest. Uh, made in Manhattan. And Roca. That great Latino classic, Made in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Four, four, three. Next question. Here we go. Fantasy slash sci-fi. Which Oscar-winning actress plays the character Mrs. Coulter in The Golden Compass? I have a theory. What's that? So, like, she's a maid oh, that works in Manhattan, uh, right? But I feel like she's also uh, made in Manhattan. You get it? Yeah. It's like, she's a producer. Five. Yeah. Ethan, hire this guy. Four. Three. Never. Two. <laughs> one. Pass oh, down. Well. Bibiani. Uh, Nicole Kidman? Yes. Okay. John Rocha. Nicole Kidman. And Ethan. Nicole Kidman. There we go. <laughs> Ethan is not missed. Rocha's only down by one. Only this down by one. This is the triple threat that we expected, it given so far. the talent on the table. Your next category is in the world of comedies. Ha, 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 ha. Which film, based on a Saturday Night Live character, stars Tim Meadows, Billy Dee Williams, and John Witherspoon? You know, speaking of uh, comedy, so Rogan gets down there at Houston. He might be doing a set at the Joke Joint May 17th. Five. There's no laughing matter right now. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please. And nope. Roca. The ladies' man. Yes, it is. Ethan. The ladies' man. And Bibiani. Ladies' man. Didn't have the answer. No, 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 no. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Okay. Oh. Sit. Are you challenging them? Mm, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. If anybody has a question, the ruling. If I put Paris with love, would that have counted over to and from? No, because that's not an article. Oh, who's asking you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ruling with articles the a okay. at the beginning of a movie is if it is a two-word film like the thing, okay. you need to have the and thing. But if it's any longer than that, then yeah. you can simply have ladies' yeah. man or the ladies' man. It is fielder's choice. Understood. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here that, we go. Next. That question. That makes sense anyway. Next question. All right. Here. Horror slash thriller. Ah, here we go, baby. Which classic silent film involves a vampire named Count Orlock? All right, trivia question for you. What was the silent film that won the Oscar in, like, 2010? I'm getting nightmares when you bring up silent film. I don't want to hear about it. Five, <laughs> four. I thought you liked it. Three. Oh, two. I don't know. Oh, is this a joke? Yes. Pens down, please, and Ethan. Nosferatu. Yes, Bibiani. God damn, I should have wrote down. Nosferatu. Yes. Incorrect ruling for the Nosferatu. God damn it, I should have wrote down. I should have Nosferatu. I should have wrote down. but okay. We are looking at the possibility, Christian, of two perfect round ones. Roka just a point away from it, but Irwin and Bibiani still in the mix. If they get this next question right, they will be asked a bonus question that them and them alone will be writing down the potential answer to, but that's only if they get this next question right. It is a Patreon question. And the following question comes courtesy of Michael Campbell. Give him a big round of Thanks, applause. Thanks, Michael. Woo! Michael Campbell. Michael Member of the, uh, make, I believe, the fan leagues also. Awesome. Thank you, Michael, for supporting the show. This is in the category of animation. Movies drawn by hand or on a computer. And your question is, a young boy and his sister struggle to survive in war-torn Japan in this acclaimed studio Ghibli film. Ghibli? Ghibli? Ghibli. Ghibli. knows it. Five, four, three, two, Grave of the Fireflies. One. Pens down and Bibiana. That would be the heartbreaking Grave of the Fireflies. That's correct. Wow. Looking around for Bibs. That's Roca. a one-pointer. Roca. Princess Mononoke. No, and Ethan. Nope. Didn't have it. So only Bibs. Woo! Only Go Bibs! Very Woo! interesting. The free-for-all MVP doing what he did at the free-for-all. And here we go, Bibs. This is just for you. You do not have to write it down. Here's your bonus question. In the film Tootsie, who plays the role of George Fields, who is Michael's agent? Sidney Pollack. One more point for Bibbs. Woo! Bibbs goes up 
up now, Yanni. Yeah. To seven to six. What a round for Bibiani doing what he does well in that first round. Good job, bud. He's Guys, just yeah. continuing his momentum from previous matches. Christian, I would love to see uh, Frankie Stats look this up. Frankie Numbers, yeah. Frank Janish from the Spodown Rundown. I want to know what Bibiani's per round average <laughs> is when he's sitting versus when he's standing. Because <laughs> this guy shifts into another gear when he's standing up and not encumbered by some sort of chair. No, it's pretty normal. <laughs> All right, so now we get to round number two, Mark. Uh, this The rules are, are pretty much the same for the triple threat, but please explain. It's the same. For the most part, it is still known as the wheel around the wheel of fate doom and justice each competitor gets a spin at that, that dark wheel, wheel. if you don't like the category you spin unless it's opponent's choice you are awarded a mulligan which is golf for do over once you settle on your category you're going to ask be asked four questions from said category each question is worth two points there's no penalty for missing a question if you're not sure of the answer ask us for multiple choice we'll give you four options one of which we promise is correct Keep in mind there is stealing, and the way that a steal works in a triple threat match is that if the competitor who is first asked the question does not know it, the steal will then be thrown to the field where the competitors will have to write down their attempt at an answer on a whiteboard, and then when we ask you by name, it works like round number one. You show us at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. Yeah. The wheel for today's match is sponsored by our Schmodown patron, Jake Bird. Yeah, Jake. Jake, Jake Bird. The sponsored wheel sizes for today's match are Miss Bag and 90s. Thank you, Jake. All right, so here's, wheel. here's how this works. Bibiani, you have nine points here. Now you can defer Ooh, to shit. Ethan if you like, who then, if he wants to, can defer to John. What would you like to do? I would like to defer to Ethan. All right, Ethan. What's he going to do, Christian? I don't know. You're oh, gonna he's go. going. All right, he's Ethan's going. Go. All right. <laughs> It's not. I mean, when you're in a triple threat match, sometimes you want to get your segment out of the way, yeah, yeah, and then you can just sit back and Sherry pick some steam. Very strong spin by Ian. Yeah. Now, the, you know that Rogan and Bibiani, for the first time in a long time, might want to team up here if it hits opponent's choice. That's the thing is that competitors become allies if only for a moment. For a second, they haven't seen these two team up in a long time. Is it going to oh, be Jody yes, Foster be making 90s. her debut now? 90s films. 90s. Yeah. You're gonna do it. Take it right, okay. Who's been the king of the second I was round? Alive then. <laughs> All right, here you go, Ethan. <laughs> the 90s decade. All the questions. Four. The 90s. Bibiani and Roca, oh, please be prepared no. with your boards, guys. Be prepared with your boards. Here comes the first question. Four questions. Ethan, who played the character of Bob Cratchit in the Muppet Christmas? Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Incorrect. Oh. Gentlemen, for the steal. For the steal, please write down your best attempt at an answer. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One pence down. Roka for the steal. I don't know. Uh, Steve Morton. And Bibiani. Kermit the That's Frog. correct. Nice. Bibiani. Two Kermit. points. It's the Muppet Christmas Carol. Big. I think Kermit is not a who, he's an it, but it's oh. okay. Hey, that's a fair challenge. Do you want to challenge it? Yeah. Challenge, challenge. Why not? Because you're challenging that he's yeah. not a who, he's an it. Yes, he's yeah. not a person. A who is a person. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm may, may I counter? counter? No, 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 you cannot. Can't, can't. Challenge, challenge, nope. challenge on the board. The game. Challenge on the board. That's actually a fair one because you could be confused by going actors or actresses. You got... Now, after consulting what, with what, the judges, Muppet. it has been determined that Kermit the Frog, the beloved character <laughs> from pop culture, is in fact a who, and the question will stand as a rule. Boom. Ethan's challenge has been overruled. Wait, does that mean you're also a person? He was credited, in the, he was credited in the movie, Kermit right. the Frog, as right. Bob Craig. In the same way that Chewbacca, you feel like maybe isn't it, but it's also a person. Yeah. You could say who for a number of different characters throughout movie history, although they are not actual human beings. Kermit the Frog Just still counts. Just for fun, we also would have accepted the name of the voice actor, who accepted the role of Kermit the Frog, who played, of Great. course, Bob Cratchit. All right, here we go. Goddamn Muppet. All right. All right. Ethan, shh, question number two. Uh, question number two. All right. What In what about? movie does Christian Slater play a teenage pirate radio DJ? Pump up the volume. Correct for two points. Woo! All time great hair, Christian yes. Slater. All right, question oh, number three. Matter. Question number three. In Hot Shots, part two, who plays President Thomas Tug Benson? Lloyd Bridges. Yes. Nice. One of the okay. all-time great comic performances in those two movies. All right, here we go. Last question here. In the 1992 Steve Martin comedy, Leap of Faith, who plays Will Braverman, a sheriff who tries to prevent the townspeople from being conned? Liam Neeson. Correct. Damn. All right, rebounded nicely from that. Nice. Yes, he did. Okay, 
So now, now, Bibbs, it goes back to you unless you want to defer to Roka. I will defer to Roka. Okay, so now Roka will spin. Here comes the outlaw. Trailing spin. by seven. Yeah, he needs something big. He needs something big. He can't fall behind. He's got to have a nice round here. Yeah. But Irwin, Christian, when you're talking about competitors of this caliber, Irwin did give him an opening, missing that Bob Cratchit. He did. Frog he did for sure. Uh, but Bibbs, unfortunately for Roka, stole, stole that. But, uh-oh. He's got to stop it here. Looming near Could be good. Oh, no. Could be good. Oh, he likes sports movies. Now this this was what he did against Eve, and he had sports. It didn't work out his way. Familiar. It's it's sports not, movies. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, John Roca, you okay, have yeah, yeah. spun the category of sports, and the host of Sports Talk will hear four questions. And your first question is, what is? Please stay near the microphone, sir. What is Ivan Drago's son's name in Creed Two? Oh, Ivan and oh, what's his name? What's his name? Multiple choice. Is it A. Anatoly, B. Vladimir, Victor. C. Victor, or D. Boris? Victor. Victor. Give him a point. Yep. Give him a point. All right, Roka, your next question of the slate of four in the 2005 version of The Longest Yard. Who plays Adam Sandler's newfound friend, caretaker? Burt Reynolds. That is incorrect. No. Two point steal. We need both competitors to write down. It's uh. An answer. You have is 15. Chris Rock? Have 15. Probably got about eight now. <laughs> Five, four. Damn it. Is it Chris three, Rock? I know Chris two, Rock's in that one. Movie. Heads down. And Ethan. I didn't have it. That's a Damon Wayans. Viviani. I didn't have it. That's a Billy Connolly. For Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yes. Oh, Chris I Rock. Didn't see it. Is the answer. Oh, Woo! Your next question, Broca. Pull that one out of nowhere. What actor? Portrayed Ricky Bobby's father in 2006's Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Gary Cole. For two points. All right, Roka. <laughs> On the answer to train, he can pull within even of bibs and within two points of even if he gets his last question in the world of sports correct. That query is, what sports film stars Omar Epps, Sanaa Lathan, Dennis Haysbert, and Alfred Woodard? Omar mm. Epps. Five. Oh, damn it. Four. Uh, multiple three. choice. Damn it. Multiple choice options are, is it A, Coach Carter, B, Street Ballers, C, Love and Basketball, or D, Friday Love Night Love and Basketball. Well, he's, he is on his knees. Love and Basketball. Love and Basketball? Give him a point. All right. All right. All right, so now it's way tougher than I thought. Yeah. Right. Navigating his way around that category, Christian, but it's not the result he quite no. wanted from something still. that he feels pretty strongly yeah, about. He still Let's finds himself now. down both. He's down one, but Bibbs, who has not spun yet, and down by three, Irwin, who has played right this round. But now Bibiani is up. Is down. Bibiani Anthra. could do something really big here should he hit something yep. that is his strength, but a point <laughs> is always on that wheel, Mark. Oh, yeah. Here's Here he spin. comes, Bibiani. Come on, Bibbs! Good spin by the Woo! Good, that, that was good for I like that he Come on, Bibbs! Follow through. His attitude by Bibiani seems to really be helping him out, though, too. It just seems a lot more relaxed these days. Well, it's it's the stand. It's like at, at the office now, you have all these these people with the standing oh, desks. Oh, it's going mm. past it. And this could be disaster, disaster movies. Films. Disaster films. Disaster Films is Bibi on the East. Try again. again. Look at that form. From disaster. That is what you want to copy. That form in Fred McGriff's baseball DVD. Yeah. I like the relaxed yeah. nature of William Bibiani. I think that he's he's taken a lot of momentum from his performance at the free throw. He absolutely is. There's no doubt about that. The MVP on, of good spin form as well. But Christian, this is coming back. This could be a part of the choice. Oh, no! Mark, look out. Now, Ethan and Roka are going to team up. An unlikely team up here. I love look their best friends now. An unlikely team he up here. He spun away right. from disaster movies, and he spun into an actual Jeez. disaster. What are they going to do here? What can they give him that they think it's going to be? Two because sports movies is now off. That's the one that probably they would have gone with, but that's off the table. And, and, and that was a spin first. strength of Roka. <laughs> and <laughs> now, Ethan may be talking with Roka about what he thinks his strength is, because, again, there could be some <laughs> Clearly going on between the competitors is what they That's think right. they could steal the best. All right, we got to get an answer from you guys here. we got to give you a five count. You, you've got to choose it, or we're going to choose for you. Ready? All right, here we go. 
And they're going to they're going to go to disaster. The category movies. that William Viviani spun away, away from. That's a great call. Very interesting. Okay. Well, it's it, tough. Bibs knows so much. It's disaster tough films. Very kind of disaster <laughs> films. All right, here we go, guys. Come on, Bibs. Right. You got this, bud. We're going to get four questions here. See my air to you. Come on. Got first one. In the film 2012, who played geologist Adrian Helmsley, chief science advisor to the president? Timotella Gia Four. That is correct. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Bibs. I've seen that film all the time. Good job, Bibs. All right, here you go. Come on, Bibs. Bibs. In the 90s disaster film Volcano, which MCU star plays Tommy Lee Jones' associate Emmett Reese? Don Cheadle. Two more points. Why are you not doing disaster yeah. stuff to be back in That's Irene right. Come on, Bibs. Yeah. So far, William yeah. Viviani in sole possession of first place. And Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor star together in which disaster film? Oh, 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 oh. Multiple choice. Is it A, the impossible? Yes. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> yes. Not allowing you, <laughs> yes. the last dear question reader, to get any more out of it. <laughs> this is your last one here, William. Damn. Which 1950s disaster film stars John Wayne as a pilot on a dying plane? Ooh. <laughs> Multiple Bitch. choice. Is it A, when worlds collide? B, zero hour? C, a night to remember. D, the high and the mighty. Zero, zero hour. The high and the mighty. For one point. Yes! 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 Yes
So now we go. Now we go to Ethan. Ethan needs to hit his two or, or his three, but he. All right, here we go. So next, Ethan chose. Excuse me. Ethan chose number one. Ethan chose number one. All right, Ethan. Your first question. Your two pointer. Musicals. Musicals. Okay. All right, here we go. In Mamma Mia, here we go again. <laughs> What famous recording artist plays Sophie's grandmother, Ruby? Cher. Two points. All right. And yeah, now, mighty correct. But now, in order to force Roka to answer his five, Ethan needs to hit this one here. Okay. Hmm. All right, and Ethan, you chose category number nine. Category number nine. Famous actors and actresses. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ethan... Name the film that co-starred Robin Williams and Robert De Niro, which saw De Niro as a man unable to speak, who began speaking after he was given a special new drug. Awakenings. For three points. All right, so now we get, now we get to Roca here. That's right, John Roca, Roca has, to hit has to this answer or he'll be a five-point question to stay in the match. And if he gets this right, Christian, it would give him a two-point advantage over Ethan Connolly <coughs> and a three-point advantage over Bibbs, who has yet yep. to be asked a question. Uh, number 12 comes from the world of Christian Harloff's selfie partner, Julia Roberts. Right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, it's been great playing you, Jeff. <laughs> I am not a Julia Roberts fan, so this is not going to go well. And your question from the wild, wonderful world of Miss Roberts. <sighs> For five points, stay in the match and on the stage with the two cohorts in Steel Magnolias. Mm. What disorder does Julia Roberts's Shelby suffer from? Oh. Can he pull it? I know it's a five, four, three, two. Repeat the question, please. I can do that. In Steel Magnolias, what disorder does Julia Roberts's Shelby suffer from? John has two ADHD. I have never seen so many positions of the <laughs> on the stage. Five, four, three, two. Repeat please. Second one. In Steel Magnolias, what disorder does Julia Roberts's Shelby suffer from? Disorder's not disease. Five. Emptying the chamber. Four. Three. Two. Repeat the question, please. Leukemia. And with that, John Roca has been eliminated. Diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. 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 Looking for diabetes. John diabetes. Roca has been eliminated from the triple threat. Ooh, so down between Bibbs and Irwin. Or Ethan Irwin and Bibbs are going to hit. <coughs> Ethan only has his five left. Bibbs has three of his questions left here. He's in a good position here. All right, we start with Bibiani for his two pointer to bounce to Ethan to force him on his five. Yep. And that would be in the category. Excuse me, category seventeen. Category seventeen. That would be in the category of Pixar films. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't it going to him? No. You're no. 17. You're 17. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the scores yeah. wrong. My apologies. It's okay. <laughs> Pixar, Pixar? Okay. Pixar movies. All right, here we go. Ethan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bibiani? Yeah. Pixar. What storybook character has the affection of Woody in Toy Story? Bo Peep. Bo Peep. That's correct. Bo Peep. Woo! So now Ethan Irwin has to hit his five. If he hits it, then Bibbs will have two more questions. However, if he misses it, Bibiani will Come on, the Bibbs! Girl for the championship. All right, so Ethan Come Irwin, on, Bibbs. his category was number seven, Mark. Number seven. He is Ethan doing Ethan things, and an Ethan thing to do here would be getting a five-point answer Come on, miss it, Ethan. of a question about comedy. Hmm. These are comedies. Mm. I do not do the ha-ha for round three because it's way too serious. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now you made us do it. All right, Ethan, your question for five points to stay in the match and to get a four-point advantage over William Bibiani. In the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail, what instrument is used to destroy the killer rabbit of Care Banog? The Holy Hand Grenade. Yes, yes it is. is. All right, is. Ethan does it. So Ethan's tapped out right now. So now it's forcing Bibiani. Come on, Bibs! Forcing Bibiani here. You didn't have to, but yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, holy hand grenade from yeah. Antioch. So Bibs, Bibs can, Bibs can burn a question here if he wants to. He doesn't have to hit his three. Bibs can well. kick back and yeah. relax in this but question, but he doesn't to... have a chair. No, but he also has a chance to break the singles uh, record should he hit both of these. Yeah. So let's. Uh, oh, okay. Let's right. go, Bibiani. Number it's a three round. Number thirteen. Number thirteen. Number thirteen. Here we go. All right. Bibs. Bibs. 
Movie quotes. <sighs> Come on, Movie quotes. Come on. Here is the question. In which classic film will you hear the quote, listen to them, children of the night, what music they make? Dracula. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So come on, Bibbs! To the final William, come on. question. Come on, Beast! It is Brett. the five come on, Beast. pointer. It is the five pointer. If Bibbiani hits it, he faces Dan Merle for the championship. However, if he misses, Irwin Merle 3 will happen. Here we go. Hmm. All right. Give him some good. In come on, film, Merle. Excuse me. In the realm of Leonardo. DiCaprio. Oh. Come on, okay. Bibbs. Yeah. All right. Name two on, of the three actors who portray the classic Three Musketeers characters in 1998's <laughs> The Man in the Iron Mask. Jeremy Irons and Gerard Depardieu. And your winner! <laughs> and you Yes! New singles fight score, baby. Talk about the all-time points record. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Ethan putting up a good. Roka putting up a good fight. I don't think Bibbs missed this whole match. Legendary role. He's playing on the run. We thought he would when he entered the league in 2016. This is the Bibbiani, the comfortable yep. Bibbiani. This is the Bibbiani that everyone said, "Oh, this guy's gonna be tough to beat." Yes. So when you look at that performance. Good job, Bibbs. Mark, this guy's tough to beat. That's right, and when you watch the beginning of this match, he was just a fan plucked from obscurity who happened to show up to the right prices, right taping, and now all of a sudden, he's going to be going up against Dan Merle for the championship. Now, there's Merle going up against Bibiani. What is Merle's mindset when he's probably watching this matchup? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, he sat next to Bibiani for over 13 rounds in the free fall, and they went head-to-head -head for a lot of it, and Bibiani bested Merle for uh, quite a few of them, right? So this is also going to be maybe a little bit of revenge here, too, because, because Merle ended up winning. Well, well, yeah, that's absolutely part of it now because Roca, his fallen horseman, now is not in this thing anymore, and now he can maybe avenge Roca if he has to. But we'll also remember the magic card here is that Bibiani has a number one contender in his pocket for anything. Yep. So he's just won this. He doesn't need it for this, right? So will he use it for teams? We don't know. The other thing is Merle also has a championship match. So it is going to be a lot of drama, and the match happens in just a few weeks. Just a few weeks between these two, we're going to see Bibiani and Merle. They're going to clash, and they've been talking about this match for a long time, and we finally oh, this is going to be so be damn good. Exciting. And right now, we're going to have a post-game interview with every competitor, the winner, and your two fallen competitors right now with the one, the only, Miss Jen Sturgeon. Thanks, guys. I'm back with Ethan, Big Time Irwin, and his manager, Jay Washington. A very svelte-looking Jay Washington, by the way, sir. Very good. Very good. Thank you. I'm working my ass off of this. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, these are size 40s. <laughs> I'm more size 40 in God knows how long, so I'm proud of that. The size is slimming, too. 38, here we come. 38. Well, I tried on the 38, and it fit perfectly. Look at God. Look at God. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, I mean, Ethan, I know you really wanted redemption out there. Today. I did, and look, in a way I feel like I got it simply because I took him right down to the end of the final question, mm -hmm. and yeah, look, and it, it all came down to that that opponent's choice spin, had, had we not gotten that, had we given him something else, you know, it made sense at the time, something he spun away from, obviously a perceived weakness on his part, clearly not the case, um, but uh, you know, it's good to learn for the next time, but either way, it was a yeah. great time, really enjoyed it, really, I love playing against both those guys, it was, it was a ton of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And let, let's be real. Your focus now, I guess, is going to be shifting to the time Jeez. machine, right? Absolutely. I mean, there's no way to reason to, for Ethan to hold his head down. Played a great no, game. Like not at all. Said, down to the wire. Good uh, match. Janine just came off an amazing victory over Stacy. So mm -hmm. why not focus both of these great competitors into the way of the team titles? Now, yeah. I understand there's a lot of other teams in the way. I get it. And no disrespect to who's the boss and founding fathers and who else is it accounts but th those are only ones so no respect to those two but when we're coming for the shire wolves that's the goal that's the focus and mm -hmm. we got to run through those two we'll just run through them yeah ethan how are you feeling about playing with janine uh really great i think janine is incredible i've been excited for a while since christian said that we were pairing up uh she's super smart she knows her stuff and i feel mm -hmm. like we complement each other incredibly well Whew. well jay i mean I'm sure you've got everything figured out on your end, so... Everything isn't completely figured out. The, the figuring out part comes to how to beat everybody to get to the Shire Wolves. That's where the figuring out comes. That's where the planning comes. That's where the figuring out which match do they mm -hmm. need to be in. Because Emma said they have a match. 
They have a match. He's never said who their opponents are. So you're it's still like, waiting on that. We're still waiting on that. So we need that to happen and yeah. figure out where we go from next. Anyone you're looking at in particular? Let's just start easy and just whip on some people. Let's do Inky and the Brain real quick. Knock them out the way. Um, maybe Corruption. You yeah. know, maybe yeah. Corruption. Maybe Mike and Chance. Since Chance wants to still wear that dusty leather jacket, you know, <laughs> Stacy's been beat. You know, Corruption can be beat. They're not perfect. They're not <laughs> perfect. So what maybe about Stacy. Maybe in her Stacey's new opponent. Stacy's been beat, and Stacy's new opponent. Look, it her hurts teammate. me to say this. We don't even know her opponent, but her if she, teammate, yeah. her teammate. I mean, excuse me. But if she plays with a new teammate, the way she played against Janine, that is no worry at all. Oof. Never at loss for words with you, sir. Not at all. <laughs> Well, Roka, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, it's the game. Oh, that was tough to watch. Oh, well, you know, listen, I, I earned my shot at those guys. They're two of the titans of the game right now. What can you say? Ethan beat a murderer's role last year to win that belt. Yeah, he did. Couldn't get it done against Dan in the live event, but he brought his game today. And Bibbs has been on a run. Uh, you know, this this is his year. You know, last year was my mm-hmm. year. I won the belt. This feels like it's Bibbs' year to at least challenge yeah. for the belt. Not giving him the victory over my horseman mate, uh, uh, Dan Merle. But, you know, he played a hell of a game. Nothing I could have done there. 23, 27, 15. Those are, you know, what can you do? Yeah, and win or lose, you're so passionate about this game. It's mm. so fun to watch. They were having trouble just keeping you in frame in the, in the control <laughs> room. Because you're just so animated, and you can tell you just love this game so much. Yeah, I got to play my way. I don't play for anybody else in frame, out of frame. I got to play my way. That's <gasps> where I was today. How That's standing how feel out there? Uh, standing feel nice. I actually kind of like it. Bibbs might have stumbled onto something, and I kind of <laughs> like it. So maybe they'll do a still standing two shirt for me. But uh, either way. Great match. Couldn't get it done today. No shame. I didn't miss anything that I knew, mm-hmm. so there's no uh, shame in that way. And even if I'd gotten those points, still wouldn't have been enough to beat Bibbs. He's yeah. on a run. And now, with this out of the way, obviously, yeah. the focus is back on teams. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you guys are going to be playing Double Toasted in Houston. How are you feeling about that? Coming I'm up? excited for that. Double Toasted has been talking their mess. I didn't know those guys could speak those words in that way. I'm a little offended, but, you know, we're going to come see them in their hometown. We're coming to their hometown to handle business. You know, my dad once said the best way to, to whoop that ass is whoop that ass in front of their family. So I'm going to whoop that ass in front of their family in Houston. Dan's riding with me, shotgun. We're going to have a good time against Double Toasted, maybe send them back home Triple Toasted or Quadruple Toasted. I don't know. Maybe we'll take over their podcast. Who knows? But either way, we're coming and we're going to have fun, and that's my focus. I've been a two-time singles champion. It'd be nice to be a two-time tag champion as as well so we'll see not not overlooking them but we definitely are excited to go face them i love where your head's at good luck in houston man thank you jen and we're back with william the, the beast baby the bibs you won i'm so glad they chose me from that audience there's so many people there <laughs> i i just i like, put my name in that hat and oh man it all worked out it's great oh. it's great thank you so much oh well congratulations i know that when we were this is like your moment when we were mm-hmm. standing on the stage together at free for all like it felt like Everything was kind of coming together for you. Well, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I, I do seem to be on a bit of a roll, and I want to enjoy that while I can. It's been really nice. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. But oh, hi, the kid. I'm, hey, hey, I uh, just wanted to come in and say that was so awesome out there, man. What, I was rooting you on. What is this? You really deserved it after the free for all oh, and everything. Oh, you were great at the free for all too, oh, man. Thank, thank you so thank much. You, man. Well, you've always been very supportive of me, even after back to my first match. So I really appreciate it, man. Thank so, you, man. I yeah, really yeah, appreciate it. Well, I'll go now. So yeah, okay. all right. I'll, I'll let you finish. Thank, thank you so much. At least you talked into the mic today. I, that's great, yeah. <laughs> wonder if that will be important later. Anyway, Progress. what were you talking about? Uh, <laughs> uh, so now, Merle, you guys have never actually faced each other <gasps> except for at no, Free For All. At Free For All. We were at the first Free For All briefly, and mm-hmm. then we were on the second, uh, the third Free For All forever. And ever. And we were in the trenches, and we were all just like collapsing in each other's arms. And he was so sweet. Like, when, when he won, he actually, like, apologized to me. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> oh, oh you, this was such a good match. So he's really cool, and I really respect the hell out of him. And I think he is one of the, if not the, at least one of the top two competitors we've ever had mm-hmm. in the league. And I've been wanting to play him since I started playing, and I am thrilled and I'm honored that I get that opportunity now. And I want to tell Dan right now, Dan, there we go. Hi. Dan Morrow. been there the whole time. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Uh, see you soon. That's oh, go, 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 go. Um, no trash talk? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, you, sir, <laughs> are very nice. And I respect you. Yeah. And if you beat me, I would understand. But I hope you don't, because I think I'm pretty good. And I think I got a chance. And... Go, go. Gargo. Have a nice day. Gargo. 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 Gargo.
Ethan played incredibly, and he talked yeah. about it too. And what the main focus there for both of them, interestingly enough, is that Jay started talking about the time machine. Him, Janine, and mm-hmm. Ethan taking that shot in the teams. And that was the same narrative, really, of what John Roca was talking about. He understood it, he got it, he gave a lot of credit to both competitors, and he's really focused on Houston and focused on winning those team championships again to become the first ever two time, two time champ, right? He, but Bibiani, it was very nice that's to see the, the thing. Yeah. The, yeah. Is that, is that we can talk about potentialities with Ethan and Roca, but Bibiani. Viviani clearly knows what he's facing right yeah. now, and it may be the most daunting task of his story career. And he said as much that he's excited to see it, and he's excited to get a shot to get his title back, but it was also very nice to see the kid run in there. They've, they've had this friendship, and the kid came in and congratulated him, and it's just they're just two likable people, those two. And in fact, you see you see him run in there, and he says, thanks, the kid. It was really nice. It, it was like Mean Joe giving his Coca-Cola and his <laughs> Jersey and trade back in the 70s. It, it was yep. a very nice thing to do, and the kid, by the way, very well adjudicated at the free for all. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, yeah, free for all legends in that shot. And William Bibiani now going up against Dan Merle for the championship. And that's your championship match Merle versus Bibiani one because the other Woo! two have been sequels this is the first time these two have ever <laughs> faced each other and what a championship match That's it will amazing. be we're going to have the dangerous one Dan Merle defending his championship against William the Beast Bibiani who now sits at wait. 7 and 5 so this is going to be something I can't wait to look for I know the fans are going to be looking forward to it thank you to everybody on Patreon who has helped really build this league by the way everyone who we want to come to Houston to see Dan and Roca play against Double Toasted and of course the main event Andrew Guy versus Ben Bateman at Booker That's T's awesome. Stadium go to the SchmodownLive.com May 18th Check us over there May 18th and see this character on May 17th ah, at the uh, Joke Joint it's right. right down the street that is Christian I am Mark in podcast form you can always check out the movie Trivia Schmodown on Himalaya. Christian, always good doing business with yeah. you, sir, and I know we have a championship match to look forward to. Can't wait for it. And check out all these articles on TriviaSD.com as well as the Schmodown Rundown. There's so much content for you guys to yep. guess if you are big Schmodown fans and if you like to keep up on it. There's so much that we have for you. Check all the links and subscribe to this channel, obviously. Thank you. For Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Arla. We'll see you next time. Ooh. Ben Bateman. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, Mark. How are you, man? Not too bad. I'm going to apologize now for defeating you in <laughs> Chicago in front of a thousand people, but uh, okay. I don't feel too bad about that. It's going to be an absolutely crazy, crazy one. Okay. I, you look great, Mark. You lost weight. Oh, you're, you're really working hard to sell this nice guy thing, <laughs> and I can see I can see in you you want to say something, so come on. I don't want to say anything. Look, look, man, I a year ago probably would have had things mm-hmm. to say to you. I would have wanted to yell and scream, a team action, but that's just not what I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. I'm here to win. I'm really excited for Chicago. I think you and I have some history. Well, I did beat you, so... Um, you got lucky. I made some mistakes that day. Sure. Love yeah. Love. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good way to put it. Whatever, whatever I just sleep at night. Draco, people talk about us as the best players that never went up at mm-hmm. all. And after Chicago... I would agree with that. We are. But I'm that's in first position. That's you. We'll see. We'll see. And I just we'll say see. that honestly, man. I, that's no. really how I feel. No. There's, there's, there's the Ben Bateman we all know love. So I'm going to do you. You put on my cool sunglasses. <laughs> and I'm going to walk off and yeah. be smug. So look, cool. look forward to losing to you. All right. Have a good one. That was weird. All right, guys. What a triple threat match. Congratulations to William, the Beast, Bibby, Ani. Uh, Ethan Irwin was so close. He did such a good job in that match. And John Roca, he also did really, really good. Just couldn't keep up. Uh, Bibbs went, I believe he almost went near perfect in this whole match. I'm going to have to go back through and rewatch it. But I don't think Bibbs had missed maybe one or two questions, if that. This is Bibbs' year. I cannot wait for him versus Dan. And I really want Bibiani to be the champion because he has earned it. He's deserving. So is Dan. But you can see the passion that Bibbs puts into this stuff. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this run of reaction, hit that like button, subscribe to Film Nerd TV below. Check out Combat Wrestling Network and Combat Wrestling Trivia. If you're a pro wrestling fan, join the Facebook group and we will get you a pro wrestling combat wrestling trivia match. Um, and also check out my previous video, which was the uh, trailer reaction to Star Wars Episode 9 from Star Wars Celebration. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.